Good morning, grade 11. Now we're going to do page 114. This is about a pending dot. In other words, adding data to an existing file. And we use an append procedure. Instead of reset, we're now going to use append. So let's read the instructions. Your team tracker application that we did last time. We read from the text file and we put the teams in to the list boxes. Now we're going to do the following. In the on-click event of add teams, you're going to create a local vo variable called stMName. Okay, fine. Add teams. Double click add teams button. Make a local variable here. stMName. And we are then going to use input box to ask the user to enter a team name and store that value in that S team name variable. So we can use the input box to ask the user to enter team name, a team name. So we're going to say S team name equals input box enter a new team name. Now you all remember how to do an input box if you haven't memorized that. Three string parameters, one two and three now we're going to go to add the value of stm name to both list boxes all right so we're going to say lst home list box dot items dot add and in brackets we put a string stm name also something you must memorize about list boxes it works the same as combo boxes work the same as this and then list lst away dot items dot add s team name so there we're adding an item to a list box dot items dot add and if it was a combo box you say combo box dot items dot add it's the same code and each item in the list boxes and the combo boxes are numbered from naught to however item, many items there are. So open, okay, add the value, which we did that. Open T teams file using append procedure. Well, we first have to do assign file statement. Assign file, T teams, comma, T team, the text file variable, and then teams.txt. Should we test to see if it exists? Well, maybe we should, hey? Just like when we wrote to the text file, we tested to see if it exists. Because if it doesn't exist, how are we going to add lines to it? So I'm just copying and pasting that. And yes, I'm going to close the program if, it, if a text file does not exist. Because we can't actually add a team. Actually, in this case, maybe we'll just exit, exit the method. So let's just say exit there. So we won't close the whole program. Only this button click will, will close. This one called add a team. Anyway, so once we've assigned, once we've checked it exists, then we say assign file, just like we did with reading. The text file name, comma, and then the the name of the text file in inverted commas. And then we get, instead of saying reset, we do append t team. Now we can write to this text file. Say so write the value of st name to the text file using write ln and then close the t teams. This is important. We're going to just write one line, write ln, open brackets, t team, comma, s team name. Where did we get s team name from? The string, the, com the, the string which we got from the input box. So we had a variable st name, we're writing that string to the text file t team now the thing with writing to a text file it doesn't work unless we close file so we have to do that we have to do a close file statement otherwise nothing will be written to the text file called teams.txt after you do the sound file statement remember we only refer to the text file as t team t team t team memorize this and when you're writing to a text file you don't use a while loop or anything, you just write one line. Write ln, it writes and then puts
puts the pointer on the next line empty space waiting for the text file to be written to again or read from or whatever okay next instruction over here so here's the code for writing to a text file and they've given you the code and now we're going to um, we're going to do something else now or we can run the program okay which team should we add let's add Tottenham okay so we load teams oh Tottenham is there okay let's add a team what should we call it um, uh, Joe Joe's team and then you click OK Joe apostrophe S why not click OK oops input output error run program reset there is a, a problem and you know what the problem is of course we're using the same text file name see this one and I'm using the sound file statement over here we have to close that text file after we read from it so we've got to go down to where we read from the text file see that and we actually need to close that text file variable and then you'll see we'll be able to add lines so remember reading from the text file we did all of that we had an assigned file statement and then we reset and then we did something but it would be a good idea to close that text file variable because I'm assigning the same global variable tteam again and I'm putting it in append mode but that's not going to work unless I've closed it previously so if you're using the same text file name just remember that if you can use the same text file name in this case we are in this global variables there we therefore have to close file even when we're reading from the text file if we're going to use it again in another place so now we'll see that it should work so load teams and then add a team right Joe's uh, team and okay and there it is on both sides just like we wanted to happen in this add teams button right so we've added that team to the text file Joe's team in the add teams button and of course we use close file so now we're going to have to use close file every time because we're using the same text file variable but apart from that if you want to write to a text file it doesn't matter whether you're using the same text file variable or a different one you still have to close file after you write a line especially if you're going to do a sign file well for writing you always have to close for reading you don't have to but if you're using the same text file variable you better close after you read from the text file if you use the same text file variable to add a line now we're going to move on to the next thing save data from your team track application to file working through the following example okay. open the team tracker so so we have a text file called T team I mean there's another text file here in this program it's called results see and in that results um, we are going to use the text file called T team tracker and connect to the results uh, txt file that text file so we can use another text file variable I said declare T team tracker as a text file variable in your global variables so we're going to put it with the others T team tracker right up here comma T team tracker text file variable okay and then the save and reset button we can assign the text file variable to this text file called that and we'll test if it exists and all that nice stuff but if it does not exist we're not going to close our program we're actually going to create the text file 
So slightly different. And all this is happening in the save and reset button. There it is there. So first of all, we're going to check if not file exists uh, results.txt. Now I can't remember whether results is spelled with a capital R or not. And that's important. We must make sure that we do use our capital letters if required. And uh, no, it is not spelled with a capital R. It might cause an issue. So if it doesn't exist, we're going to do something else. We are going to create the text file. Okay, so we're going to use our sound file statement um, t team tracker comma and then results.txt. So we're assigning that new text file variable called t team tracker to the text file called results. Okay. And then we're going to rewrite it. In other words, we're going to create it. If it doesn't exist, rewrite T Team Tracker. What if it does exist? Well, we'll use an else here, begin and end. Question is if it does exist. We had to do the following over here, which is a whole lot of things. Okay, we do have to assign file and append. So we'll use the same thing, assign file and append. Okay. So if it doesn't exist, we're gonna create it using the rewrite procedure. And if it does, if it does not exist, sorry, if it does not exist, we're going to create it with the rewrite procedure. If it doesn't, if it does exist, we're going to put it that text file in a mode ready to be written to write a line to it. And in both cases, we're going to write lines. In both cases, we will write a line after we have done either rewrite or append. Only reset is for reading, so remember that. Rewrite and append is for writing a line to, and reset is for reading from. Right, so we're going to do this. Okay, we're on page 116 now. We're going to declare two local variable co variables called s home away and s, uh, oh, s home name and s away name. Two local variables inside this btn save and reset button. So we get the var s away name and s home name. And that's going to be a string data type. Set the value of s home s home name equal to the selected item of the list box of the list home. So we get you know when we run the program we had those two teams, I mean we had teams on both sides, so we're going to, when they click on one team, we want to put that one into a um, variable called s home name and a variable called s away name. If we do this before, we do all the text file stuff here, okay? So I'm going to say s away name, that's the right hand side box, equals all lst away dot items square brackets lst away dot item index yes that's a mouthful but that is how you get the actual name that is chosen from the list box and the best that you can do about that is to memorize it is home name equals l list home dot items square brackets the square brackets is going to show you know refer to the the item index that is of the name that is chosen. So item index is an integer in square brackets which will be the item 
which will be the number of the item that's chosen. So if they chose the first one, then item index, list away dot item index will be naught. If they chose the second team, then list away dot item index will be one. So remember it starts numbering at naught, but we don't have to worry about the numbers right here because all we're doing is putting the item index in there. Memorize, guys. And this whole thing will return the string, the name that is chosen for each one of these. Um, sorry, for each of these list boxes. This works exactly the same as combo boxes, except when you choose item from a combo box, you can just use the dot text property over here. We're not going to go and take that chance for list boxes. No. Now the other, the next two sections we've already done. We did the right ln. Okay. We've done the append to open the text file and show that new lines that you can write to. And then the right, and then we're going to write ln. If it, if a text file um, does exist, does, does exist. Okay. We're doing this if the text file does exist. All right. That means this code actually should be not there over here. I'm not reading the instruction properly. So this is if the text file does exist, that is if the text file does not exist, I, K. Right, well, they didn't tell us to do anything if the text file does not exist. Oh, we've got to do this. I forgot, if the text file does not exist, guess what we have to do? We've got to write the headings into our text file. that we create. So we're going to write those headings, write ln t team tracker comma home team away team home score away score. Those are actually headings. And that is what has to be written to the text file. That big long string. If the text file does not exist, because you remember what we have here in the results.txt, we have that as our first line. But if the text file does exist, we don't have to go and put all that in. All we're going to do is go and append another name, uh, another line over here. Not necessarily a name, a line. Right, so if the text file t team um, results does not exist, we put it, we create it with that statement, we write a line, we write these headings over here. And if it does exist, we're going to put it in append mode, in other words, we can add a line, and now we're busy compiling our line that we're going to add. It's a string that we are busy building here now. Um, okay. So we've got to that point. Now we're in the right LN procedure. We're going to add the name of the home team, the name of the way team, the home score and the way score, which are in their variables and separate them by commas. So that's all. We're going to go and do this right LN. And this is going to be T team tracker, the text file variable. And then we're going to put S away, oh, S home name. And then we've got to join that to a comma and join that to S away name. And then we're going to join that to a comma. And this we're going to join that to, I'll go into the next line. This is a big long string. Um, int to string I home score. Remember those scores? Whatever I home score is, these global variables up here that we incremented each time we click the button, goal button. So that has to be joined as well, and then a comma, and then the last one will be into string. Remember, you must convert to a string because what are we dealing with here? This whole thing is a string that we are, we are actually writing to this text file represented by this variable t team tracker. But nothing's going to happen. Why will nothing actually be written? Well, because we haven't, did a, we haven't done a closed file statement. 
So we actually need to put the close file procedure in to both of those options. So close file and T team tracker. And then we also have to put that same close file, otherwise the writing a line will not happen. We have to put it over here underneath this write line statement there. Now this if then and else means that only one of these two things will happen. So you won't have any uh, runtime errors occurring because both either this one or this one will happen. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the next instruction. Also remember that when you're writing a line to a text file, it's the text file variable, comma, and then the string. It's a string. It has to be converted to a string. It has to be one long string. And over here we did that. We had write ln, the name, the text file variable name, and then a big long string that was compiled by joining a whole lot of strings together. One, two, three, four strings, actually. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strings were joined together in this um, line over here. Right, let's move on to the next thing over here. The next step is to reset your application back to starting point so that a new school can be added to the text file. Do this. Well, let's go and add our home school and our away school to naught and clear LBL schools label the caption for LBL school. All right, so that's easy. So this is all in the resave and reset button here. Eh? I home school equals naught. I away school equals naught. And the label LBL school dot caption, we've got to change that to noughts. Naught colon naught, like such. Re and you know, Clear. That's clearing the label. <laughs> Basically putting the things to naught. Add the following two lines of code. And we're going to set our item index for our list boxes. LST home dot item index equals minus one. That means no team is selected. And the same with list box away dot item index. We'll make that equal to minus one, two. That means that no teams are selected. Just remember the minus one, that nothing is selected. Right, so that is that program. Oh wait, let's go over here. Right, they're telling us by changing your table this box to deselect all items. Okay, fine. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it, folks. That's the program. All right, reload teams. Let's get two teams. Go, 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 go. And let's save and reset. Right, and we'll see that a new line will have been written to our results.txt. Oops, I'm probably going. Oh, I'm going into the wrong folder. <clears throat> um, actually, what happened here is I, uh, okay, I'm going to the wrong folder. Uh -oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh. It's over. Uh -oh. hmm. Interesting, eh? Okay, there it is. The line has been added. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.